Um, I think one of the problems for, um, for reviewers was because it was so different and because it was so unique and so original that they found it very difficult to place. I think reviewers like to place movies in boxes and put tags on them and so forth. But in almost every aspect of this movie, you cannot put a label or a tag. Nothing, as they say in the movie, is what it seems. Everything is upside down. And um, I, I must say, when I read the script, first of all, I thought it was a comedy. I was amazed to see at the completed film the level of darkness that exists below the comedy. And in fact, the comedy sometimes takes second place to that. Uh, these guys, I think, I think, you know, they are totally um, original movie makers. And uh, what will happen, I think, is that they will spawn imitators, but they are the, they are the guys. It's not that obvious kind of gangster film with machine guns and people just shooting e each other, um, explosions and so forth. It's much deeper than that. In a way, it kind of reminds me of, of, of a play because it's a movie that you listen to as well as look at. And the kind of themes that it deals with are um, themes that are especially relevant to, uh, to um, today's age. I mean, it's not just the interpersonal relationships of the characters which makes the movie interesting, but the themes like loyalty, betrayal, friendship, trust and power, and love and fear of love and so forth. But I think in a way they use the genre of, of the gangster film to put their point of view of the world to an audience. And their point of view of the world is always one which catches you off guard. You're always forced to uh, re-examine your attitude towards um, what, they're, what they're telling you. Tom was a character that um, I think you rarely come across in a film script. He was a character with depth and dimension. He was a character who operated from the outside. He was a loner. He was a very lonely man. Um, he was a man who is a manipulator of other people and is a man who tries to manipulate events. And uh, his downfall at the end is because he naively believes that he can control everything around him, when in fact that is not possible on any level. Um, Tom was an intriguing character because what he doesn't say is as important as what he does say. And sometimes in life you find that, that people can say things well, they mean something else. And that, that ambivalence was something like really interesting to play. I mean, she reminded me a little bit of Barbara Stanwyck, one of those old uh, movie uh, actresses, you know? And we were just talking earlier on about how few, uh, how few interesting women there are on the screen uh, today. I mean, it really bores me when I see women in movies reduced to just like, uh, saying don't do it and I'll be here when it's all over kind of roles, you know. And this was a role where a woman motivates the action. It was great. Albert Finney, oh God, what can you say about Albert Finney except that, uh, you know, I never thought I'd get an opportunity to work with, uh, with an actor of his, uh, of his magnitude. I mean, I'd seen Albert in so many movies. I'd seen him on stage. Um, he happened to be one of my favorite actors. Um, and to work with him was, was just, it was a thrill, first of all. And I, at the beginning, I was a little bit intimidated by it because he was like such, a, such an incredibly powerful figure. But he gave everything that he had. He is not, by any manner of means, a selfish actor. He just gave. And it was so wonderful to be with somebody who was, so giving and yet at the same time so unassuming and so modest, so accessible, he was great.